OpenAI just introduced a new tool called Sora that lets you turn text into videos. It's got everyone talking, but there's more going on than just the hype. Some folks are worried about certain issues with Sora, like regional limits on who can use it, and some artists feeling uneasy about it. Even a popular tech reviewer, Marquez Brownlee, said it's both amazing and a bit scary, which is not the usual all-good feedback. Here's the lowdown. OpenAI launched Sora on December 9th, 2024. It's up for grabs in the US and many other places. You need to join ChatGPT Plus, which costs $20 a month, or ChatGPT Pro for $200 a month to use it. If you're a Plus member, you can make about 50 videos a month, but they're only in 720p quality and last just 5 seconds. If you go for Pro, you get to make 500 top priority videos every month with better quality, 1080p, and up to 20 seconds long. Plus, you can make as many non-priority videos as you like if you don't mind waiting when it's busy. This part can get a bit tricky. Sora, the new tool from OpenAI that turns text into videos, isn't available everywhere. If you're in the UK, Switzerland, or the European Economic Area, you can't use it yet. There are some serious legal challenges OpenAI is facing in these areas, mainly due to tough data protection laws and regulations, like the Digital Services Act. The issue here isn't simple. It's about more than just launching a service. OpenAI has to navigate through a complicated set of legal and ethical questions, especially concerns about creating misleading deepfakes and spreading misinformation. To reduce these risks, OpenAI has some safety measures in place like blocking harmful content, including sexual deepfakes and child abuse materials. They are also marking all AI-created videos clearly with metadata and visible watermarks. However, despite these steps, Critics are still worried about whether these measures are fully effective. Experts warn that there might still be ways to get around these protections. Given how advanced AI is becoming, it's a real concern. When it comes to performance, tech reviewer Marquis Brownlee, also known as MKBHD, tried out Sora and had mixed feelings, calling the results both horrifying and inspiring. While Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video tool, can create visually stunning, surreal landscapes that resemble stop-motion or cardboard animation, it faces challenges with realistic consistency. Objects might morph unexpectedly, people may appear to flicker, and the effects of gravity can seem off, contributing to an unsettling, dreamlike quality. This issue stems from the technical approach Sora uses starting with a noise base and adding details incrementally. Creating each frame in Sora is an intensive process that consumes a lot of energy. This has raised concerns about the environmental impact similar to worries about large-scale text models. The energy demands of running video generation on a broad scale are significant. Moreover, controversy surrounds the use of artists in the development of Sora, Prior to its public release, a select group of artists had early access to the tool. OpenAI claims these artists voluntarily assisted in refining Sora. However, just before the official launch, some of these artists, referring to themselves as PR puppets, leaked the tool and accused OpenAI of exploiting their creative efforts without adequate compensation or proper acknowledgement, intensifying the debate around the ethics of AI development and artist collaboration. The artists involved with Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video tool, have voiced significant concerns about how their creative output is being utilized. They argue that their involvement is more akin to being unpaid participants in research and development rather than collaborators. Their main call is for more tangible reinvestment into the artistic community and greater transparency in how their work trains and refines AI models. In response, they've organized under the campaign name Art in the Cage of Digital Reproduction, advocating for fair compensation and more control over the use of their creative styles in training future AI technologies. OpenAI has responded by acknowledging the voluntary nature of the artist's contributions to Sora's development. However, this response has not quelled the discontent, leading to new essays and online discussions where artists express their ongoing dissatisfaction. These artists are pushing for clearer ethical practices and transparency in AI development. Meanwhile, the operational side of Sora raises further questions among users. Across various online platforms, such as Reddit and Discord, 
there is noticeable confusion about how credit consumption for creating videos is calculated. While OpenAI's official documentation states that a 5-second video consumes about 20 credits, and a 20-second video could use up to 2,000 credits, users report faster depletion of their credits than expected, especially when creating complex animations or making multiple modifications. This has led to concerns about hidden costs or misleading information about credit usage, complicating users' understanding of the system, and fostering suspicions of opaque practices. Concerns about the effectiveness and fairness of Sora's content moderation policies are growing among its users. These policies, intended to prevent harmful content and misleading portrayals of public figures, appear to be inconsistently applied. Reports from the user community suggest that attempts to create content involving celebrities or political figures often result in rejections or overly generalized outputs. This inconsistency has fueled speculation that the moderation system may still be under development, struggling to meet the nuanced demands of real-world use. The perception of opacity in how these policies are implemented reflects a broader issue within the AI development community regarding transparency and the ethical use of creative content. Despite these challenges, OpenAI continues to advance its technology ambitiously. Since launching, the initial version of Sora in February OpenAI has already rolled out Sora Turbo, a faster iteration, and is discussing more tailored pricing plans for different types of users in the coming year. Anticipation is building within industry circles that OpenAI might soon introduce even more sophisticated versions, such as Sora Ultra or Sora Studio. These potential upgrades could offer features like multi-scene editing, enhanced training filters, and themed presets, aiming to cater to the diverse needs of agencies, production houses, and major film studios. These developments signal OpenAI's commitment to expanding Sora's capabilities, despite ongoing debates about its current limitations and governance. Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video tool, offers a wide range of visual styles, from dramatic film noir to vintage archival looks and playful cardboard or papercraft textures. Its community feed is already brimming with creations showcasing these diverse styles. However, there's a catch. Every public generation could potentially feed back into Sora's training data, allowing the model to improve itself without users explicitly consenting to this use of their content. Marcus Brownlee has highlighted Sora's ability to create surreal, dreamlike scenes with movements no human camera could replicate. This duality, transporting viewers to imaginative worlds while exposing AI's unique, sometimes eerie perception of reality, makes Sora both fascinating and unsettling. These imperfections are part of what makes Sora so compelling. It represents a major step in AI video generation, hinting at a future where entire feature-length films might be created autonomously. Yet, OpenAI has remained tight-lipped about some critical aspects. For instance, regulatory hurdles in Europe have stalled Sora's availability there, and the environmental and financial costs of operating such a powerful tool raise questions about sustainability. Additionally, Sora's opaque credit system and restrictive moderation policies, though designed to safeguard against misuse, may also stifle creativity. These challenges highlight the complexities of balancing innovation with transparency and ethical responsibility. As Sora's capabilities continue to evolve, the challenge of aligning technological progress with effective policies and protections becomes increasingly evident. It's clear that the rapid pace of innovation sometimes outpaces the measures meant to guide and safeguard its use. In summary, Sora represents a groundbreaking step in AI development, but it also serves as a reminder that we are part of an ongoing experiment. This technology blurs the lines between creators, consumers, and collaborators, raising important questions about its broader impact. OpenAI must address these concerns with greater transparency, especially regarding how it utilizes and compensates the creative contributions that refine its models. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insights and updates. Got thoughts or questions about today's topic? Drop them in the comments below. We value your perspective and love engaging with our community. Your input shapes our discussions and strengthens our connection. Join us next time as we dive into more fascinating developments. Until then, keep exploring, stay curious, 
and we'll see you in the next video.